After fertilization, an embryo is formed. The cells divide and form a blastocyst that is ready to implant in the uterus, initiating pregnancy. Embryonic stem cells can be isolated from the blastocyst and grown in culture for long periods of time. They can be differentiated in the laboratory into the progenitors and mature cells that form all tissues and organs of the human body. During a lifetime, healthy cells are exposed to various factors, many external, that may introduce mutations into their genomes, disturbing their normal behavior. Such events can eventually lead to formation of a tumor at that site in the body. Aggressive cancer cells acquire additional oncogenic features and move from the initial primary tumors to blood vessels. They migrate in the bloodstream to distant organs. Upon finding a new world for colonization in a distant organ, the cancer cells leave the bloodstream and invade the new site. There they form metastases that are even more undifferentiated than the primary tumor. When differentiated cancer cells acquire mutations, they may de-differentiate in a process called oncogenic de-differentiation. The tumors are usually classified by histology, reflecting their origin that guides clinical decisions on treatment of cancer patients. Sometimes, such mutations are acquired by stem and progenitor cells, leading to very aggressive forms of cancer. Like normal embryonic stem cells, cancer stem cells perpetuate themselves through self-renewal and give rise to new cell populations. The difference is that the new populations are now cancerous, not healthy. Being able to identify and target stem-like cancer cells could help produce more effective treatments. Researchers from different countries and research disciplines, mathematicians, bioinformaticians, statisticians, biologists, and clinicians have come together to understand stemless features of cancer cells. They created a virtual network that spans over continents and time zones and analyzed aberrations in the DNA, chromatin, RNA, and proteins of 33 tumor types. They took advantage of a large cancer dataset from the Cancer Genome Atlas Project and other large-scale genomic projects. The TCGA Pan Cancer Project was devoted to understanding different hallmarks of cancer by identification of the similarities and differences among the genomic and cellular alterations in 12,000 samples obtained from patients' tumors. The project was jointly coordinated by the National Cancer Institute and National Human Genome Research Institute of the U.S. National Institutes of Health. The researchers used machine learning, sometimes also called artificial intelligence, to extract stemless features from normal embryonic cells and their progenitors. They then trained computer models to identify similar features in cancer cells from more than 30 tumor types. The progression of a cancer is associated with progressive loss of its memory of its tissue of origin and acquisition of a stem cell-like phenotype through the process of de-differentiation. That is, oncogenesis hijacks molecular mechanisms of embryonic development and abuses them to promote malignant progression. From this study, we have learned much more about how cancer can reflect a dark side of processes that operate in normal stem cells. The Pancancer Program was a unique enterprise that encouraged multidisciplinary collaboration across countries and time zones, aimed to understand various hallmarks of cancer by taking advantage of coherent TCGA datasets. In our project, we train machine learning algorithms on stemless features extracted from normal cells and use it to interrogate molecular profiles of cancer cells obtained from 12,000 tumors. We applied this methodology to show that cancer abuses cellular mechanisms that are active in normal development for its oncogenic progression and formation of metastasis.
I strongly believe that the results of our work may pave the way for novel therapies triggering cellular differentiation of solid tumors or can be used to stratify cancer patients for immunotherapies with stem cell-based vaccines.